What's up everyone? So I just wanted to film a quick little video here while we're doing not much at night and I just wanted to show you guys some of the interesting shells that I have in my collection. Let's take a look around the room for a sec and I'll get into some more detail on some stories of some and everything. Some giant ones that I have, some super rare sizes that I have. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So let's, let's take a look at the first one. So the first one is going to be this giant Nautilus. Now I know I recently did a collection video, but we didn't really take a look at some interesting ones. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. So here we have a 230 millimeter long, uh, so from here to here, giant pearl eyes Nautilus. Now I wanted to do this video specifically because not many people get to see these shells in real life. Just Imogen and I and my mum sometimes. So they, these aren't in a display area at a museum or anything. So yeah, I just wanted some guys, some of you to appreciate them and have some eye candy, I guess, of all of my shelly shells. But yeah, this is an absolute giant, biggest one I've ever seen, hence why I own it. Uh, and they are becoming extremely rare and extremely valuable. So yeah, that's the first one. All right, let's take a look at some others. Here's, here's my Nautilus collection though. We have... A uh, pretty good sized tiger and then a small sized tiger. I try not to hoard a bunch of them. Um, I've only really had those for quite a long time. Uh, I really don't like hoarding them because I'd rather, you know, other people actually enjoy them as well. So I have sold quite a lot in the past, but let's get on to the next shelf. So next up in the collection is also in this cabinet here. In Australia, queen conches are extremely hard to get. Now, a lot of you guys are from America or Florida, so these guys are very, very common to you. But here in Australia, you cannot import them, uh, so that makes it extremely hard to buy them when you're here. So basically, all of them uh, that are in Australia only come from really old collections, like this one per se. This one came from a very old collection of about 30 years. Imogen actually bought it for me for my birthday when I turned 20 this year, and it is a mega giant. This was always my dream shell because I absolutely love the pink inside. Pink on a shell is just perfect. So that's a little story behind that and uh, that's why they're so rare in Australia. Especially this one here. This one is perfect, awesome condition. Check out that lip. I usually keep it face down like that to preserve its color. Even though it does sit in the dark room here, uh, I maybe come in here three or four times a day to check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm really trying to preserve the color on that so you can just take a look at the pink whenever you want to take it out. But that's a little story about that one and let's move on to the next shell. So the next one on the list here today will be my giant helmet shell. Now I've had this for over a year and a half. As you can see on the label here, it is 351.2 millimeters in length and it weighs four kilos. Now as far as I know, this is the second largest helmet shell on the planet. I've posted it everywhere on Facebook and on my Instagram and nobody has come forward uh, saying it's bigger. So the largest one I believe is about an inch larger. I believe it's in China, that's what I heard last. So it is self-proclaimed number two on the planet. And I've had this for a very long time and I'll probably honestly never sell it. I really, really like the size of this one. Uh, I do have that one there as well, but that one I believe is like 304 millimeters long. So it's not that big compared to that one, but yeah, we have the second largest helmet shell on the planet. Self-proclaimed, of course, because no one has come forward. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you guys my giant spined urchin. Now I do believe this is a sea boob urchin, so this one, but I might be wrong. As you can see though, it is much, much different compared to this sea boob there, because it has all of its spines. Now, I might be wrong in saying it's a sea, uh, uh, Sputnik urchin or sea boobs, because I really can't tell, and I really don't too, know too much about urchins, because I've only ever found two. But this one here is really unique, and I actually bought all of them from that store that I got it from maybe four or five months ago, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. My mother has one too, I got it for her, and I just absolutely love it. It is so cool to me. Check it out. Awesome. It's basically like preserved. So that was exactly how it's been found. Next up, we're going to show you guys my sand dollar collection. 
Now, all these tiny ones here were found by me in the last, actually only the last, oh, three or four days I found all those at my local beach. Um, so yeah, they are very, very cool. But that is another one that I've personally found here. Uh, not not a very good looking sand dollar, but nonetheless it is a sand dollar. Now I got the two arrowhead sand dollars here from my uh, good friend. He sent them to me from Florida. Uh, same with this giant, I call it a pin cushion uh, sand dollar. Really, really cool. That's also from Florida. And then these three here are from Florida as well. Awesome. They were also gifts, and that one I purchased, and I actually have those for sale at shellcamp.com. Uh, but yeah, that is my sand dollar collection, and I'm pretty proud of it. I really, really like sand dollars. Next up, we have something very exciting for me. I absolutely love carrier shells. I don't have too many of them. I'm trying not to. I could buy probably 50 of these sort of carrier shells, but I'm really trying to get all of the different ones that I can. So here we have my recently purchased one. I really, really love this one because of the giant cone shell here sticking out of the end. I bought that like three or four days ago. Then we have that one, pretty uh, common I guess. It's got a couple really nice ones there and I've had that one there for a long time. Then we have some rock carriers here, really, really unique. Yes, it is a carrier shell. You can't really see it under all the rocks, but yes, it is a carrier shell. Really, really cool. I'm trying to build up an entire floor of this of just fully different ones. I thought they were really, really cool. Let me just fix that right there. But yeah, I have found one. Well, I didn't find it. Brett found it uh, right next to me and we traded for it. So it sort of counts and it's in here. Let me grab it for you. My beach gets in an unbelievable amount of different shells, including carrier shells, obviously. So that's the carrier that I've kind of found, and it lives in the little top fine shelf here. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next up we have my very, very, very important three shells here. My Cyprey Limousinas. I found all the shells in here, and this is my little top fine shelf, as you guys may know. And these three here are my Limousina carries. Let me grab them all out for you. Each one is perfect gems, and I found every single one. I absolutely love Limousinas. Um, they are by far my favorite shell ever, just because of how like perfect they are in color and that. I found that one like that. I remember we got it all on film. Uh, I found that one upside down as well, and then the first one here, I literally had no idea what it was, and I really wasn't too excited about it. I actually didn't even film it. That was a long time ago. But yeah, my favorite one out of these three for sure would be that one there. So we found that not long ago, maybe uh, four months ago, I'd say. So yeah, they are my Limousina calories. Not worth a whole lot money-wise, but to me, they're worth more than every single shell in here. I love them. They're sick. Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. Uh, this was really just spur of the moment. I sort of came in here and I was like really excited to look at my little collection here. Because this collection is getting pretty crazy. Uh, and I'm really, really proud of it. So I just wanted to sort of show you guys it. Because um, not many people do get to see it around here. So I thought they deserve some appreciation. <laughs> but yeah, this is the room here. Take a little look around. Uh, I'm trying to make it feel like you guys are actually here, so you, you can sort of pick some out and like I show you a bit about them and everything. So here's my little cone collection, carry collection, volu collection, uh, random collection. We've got some abalones, we've got some Florida finds, we've got the top finds table, the cabinet of greatness, <laughs> uh, my first $10 I've ever made on YouTube, my awesome wall art from Jack. My sea urchins, augers, cell found textiles, bivalves, top finds table, murex, Japanese scallops, olives, randoms, ranelidae, helmets, carrier shells, strombus, bonnets, UK finds and Philippine finds, more helmets, baler shells, baler shells, and a book. That's the collection room, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>